Another one of the <laughs> which are ending up to be like one of the best pickups I've ever had. That was my name is Jeff. We bought that for six dollars and fifty cents. We sold it for uh with all that being said, all that good news aside, there is some bad news. And the bad news is I'm buying the entire Off-White, the 10 collection, with just a $20 bill. You guys know the drill at this point. It's not just using the $20 bill. I'm buying and selling and trading things that I pick up at thrift stores and yard sales and stuff like that in order to get to the entire Off-White, the 10 collection. But come along with me on this journey. Today we find some really incredible stuff. Actually stuff that I never thought that I'd be able to resell. So uh, with that being said, let's get to it. Two? I think we've looked at these before. How much are these going for? 50. Okay, I'm good on those. I also have some Xbox games, but I feel like none of these are probably worth it. Not much in sneakers today, but there's this pair of Asics, these Gel Keanu's, or these GT1000s it looks like, for $6.99. I'm going to check these guys out. They're a little dirty, but it might be worth something. Having trouble finding these guys, so I'm going to leave them, because I think they probably aren't worth it. Oh my gosh, this Goodwill literally came in clutch. I cannot believe it. So I was looking at the sneakers, uh, and I didn't find anything. But then I went over to the game cabinet, because I love retro video games, I love video games in general, and I see that they have two Mario Karts, a Mario Party 8, and a Mario Super Sluggers, which are all Mario games, which all tend to do very, very well. I checked the inside of all of them. They all have their discs. I don't know if they all have their manuals, but they're all almost complete at least. And uh, they were all priced at $6.99. However, I did get a discount from the, uh, the wonderful lady who was working at the counter, and they all came out to $26 even. So for $26, we got four games that all have their discs. I didn't check the condition of the discs, but I'm assuming they're all relatively okay. <laughs> so Mario, Mario uh, Super Sluggers goes for around $34 on eBay. Mario Party 8 goes for around $30 on eBay. And Mario Kart Wii both go for around um, $25 to $30. So all in, this is like probably $100 worth of profit right here. I can't believe it. I might keep Mario Kart Wii because I don't think I have it. I also don't have Mario Super Sluggers, but I'm not as worried about that one. Um, but if I do, I'll, I'll just buy it for myself for market value just because I feel like that's fair-ish. As fair as it can be uh, while moving the series along and also getting myself a game. Um, <laughs> well, what a crazy come up. So I'm going to take this all home, test them, and then list them on eBay because I really feel like this might be... I don't know. Like, this might be one of the best pickups. Three days later. We did end up selling some stuff. Uh, the first thing that we sold was Mario Kart Wii. We bought that for $6.50, and we sold it for $20.23. After fees, we were left with $18.05, and that means that we made an overall profit of $11.55. But as you guys seem to be a little confused of, um, the amount that we actually add back into the fund is the total after fees, not the profit. The profit is just a metric that's nice to know. <laughs> the second thing that we sold was another one of the Wii games, which are ending up to be like one of the best pickups I've ever had. That was Mario Super Sluggers. We bought that for $6.50. We sold it for $32, which is wild. And after fees, we were left with $27.77, which means we had a profit of $21.27, which means we now have a new bank total of $116.81. I had to write it all down because I usually use my phone for the notes, but in this case, obviously I'm filming. Uh, with all that being said, all that good news aside, there is some bad news. And the bad news is, is that eBay, for whatever reason, decided to block my account. I'm not sure why. I don't exactly know for what reason. It's not like I'm doing anything fraudulent. I guess I'm just selling a lot more on there than I usually sell. Not only did they block my account, or I guess restrict my account, they took off all my listings. So everything that I had listed, the other Wii games, the other sneaker, uh, <laughs> as of right now, they're not listed anywhere. I do have a WhatNot live stream coming up very soon, so I'll probably try and sell them through there. Uh, I do also have another eBay account, which has been my personal account for years, but um, since having this eBay account, I haven't really used it as much. So I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and work it out with eBay. This is the first time I've ever had any issues with eBay, but this is like the most frustrating issue because I sold a bunch of stuff. Like I bought a new laptop, I sold my old laptop, selling some old cameras, things like that. Um, and so all my money is kind of on hold with eBay, which is just the most frustrating thing. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully it all gets worked out. I'm at this I'm reviewing an Apple Watch for my tech channel, which by the way, if you guys haven't checked out my tech channel, it's actually linked at the top of the description below, Tech Fowler. It's awesome, I definitely recommend it, uh, but it keeps friggin' buzzing on me. <laughs> Sorry, I've got so much going on. Okay, with that being said, let's go thrifting and hopefully find something with our $116 that we can sell somewhere. So it looks like first things first, we got some Sakai's, some Sakai Blazer Lows for how much? 85, that's actually almost exactly what they go for in the outlet, so gonna leave them, but really cool to see. Here we got some Yeezys, some Yeezy 750s. 700s, Yeezy 700s. It's been a minute since I talked about Yeezys. 100 bucks, hmm, good on these. Here we got some NMD S1s for 65. It's a great price and they're barely worn. Let me check these guys out. So there aren't any used pairs that have sold, and there's only new pairs that are listed, but they've all sold for like 130, so this might be a pickup. 65 is a pretty big ask. 
for like the only shoe that we're grabbing. So probably leave them for now, but I might come back if I don't find anything else. Hold up, up here we got some brand new dunks. What? Brand new with laces for 75. Oh my goodness. I think I'm about to grab these. That's crazy, let me check them out on eBay. So it's a size 13 and a half, so not the easiest size to move, but honestly, brand new for 75, we're grabbing it. Let's see what else we have in this wall. We've got these guys right here for 60. We've got some Jordan 13s for 65. That's actually, that's not bad either. What size are these? These are a size, I'm having so much trouble finding it. Size 14, a little big. We got some customized Air Forces right here for 29. Got some more 13s and some Jordan 1 Lows, the diamond ones. That's about it. Oh, wait. We got these guys too. Look at these for 55, the Jordan 1 Metallic Silvers. Kind of beat though, but not bad for 55. Up here, we've got some Air Forces in this like real tree camo situation for 45. Probably not worth anything, but cool to see. We've also got some real tree. Ooh, what are these? Lacrosses, <laughs> those are ridiculous. What else we got? We got some Nike, probably Metcons up there. Up here we got some Iversons, very nice. In this all red colorway, pretty clean, but they don't really go for much. We got some super old Air Max. These 95s, they're super old though. Look, look at that air bubble, it's ridiculous. Let me see what year these are from. I'm actually not sure what year, but let me know in the comment section if you guys know. We got some Team Jordans, we got some Hirachis. These are actually pretty cool. And then up here we got another Nike. I don't know what these are. And, some, and the Nike Dunk 85s. Super beat though, for 40. Super beat. I think I'm just gonna grab these. Okay, so in the Jordan section we got some flu games. Right here for 229, size nine, it's not terrible. We got some Chicago 3s for 179. These are kind of clean as Adidas. I actually really dig these. I don't know what they are, but I dig them. We got some more 12s. We got some ones right here, the reverse Royals. And the Elevates in a bread colorway. Nothing else on this side. Got some smaller ones right here, some fives. Nothing crazy though. John Elliott LeBrons, I love these. These are so sick. I like the white color way the best, but this pink colorway is not bad for 59. Some New Balances, some Pharrells. Nothing crazy though, nothing I want. <laughs> Cinnamon Toast Crunch, <laughs> Cinnamon Toast Crunch Crocs. That's crazy. Over here we got the Brazil Dunks, not the Supreme ones for 279. Ooh, we got these mids. I remember when mids were popping for like a minute, a couple years ago, 2020. Got the Court Purples for 249, not bad. Got the Bodegas for 79, that's about what they go for online right now. But yeah, unfortunately nothing I want to grab. These have been sitting here for a minute though. All right, so I realize I don't usually film on the roof of a parking garage, but there's no one up here and I felt comfortable enough to do it. And I didn't want to film my car because I always film my car. But I wanted to show you guys what we just picked up from Buffalo Exchange. I just grabbed the Ray, Ray Gun, Ray Gun, I was about to call them Ray Ban. The Ray Gun Nike Dunk Lows, or SPs. Are these SPs? I should know more about this. To be honest, they're SBs. Yeah, they've got the uh, the fat tongue and then the air unit underneath the uh, the insole. But yeah, these are the Raygun SBs. I still want to legit check them through the Unbox app to make sure that they are in fact legitimate and not a uh, some sort of uh, really good fake. But I grabbed these for I believe 65 bucks, which is not bad. Now they are 75 bucks. They are a size 13 and a half, so it's not the best size in the world. But for 75 bucks, new pair sell for like 130, 140. Usually with the box, to be fair, but these ones did come with the extra laces, which are on the other side of the pair right there. So I feel like it's a really great pickup, and for 75 bucks, definitely worth it. All right, so on the way home, I decided to stop by Ross because I keep seeing things on Instagram and on Twitter about people finding crazy sneakers at Ross. I know it's a long shot. I know it's crazy. I have found Jordan ones at Ross, to be fair, but they were size 18. Um, but still, I feel like we can find something. So I'm gonna take a look. There might not be anything, but there might be something. So let's go do it. Also on foot today, I've got the Apothecary pants and the Asics Gel Kayano 14s, which I just dropped a top 10 Asics video of 2024. If you guys wanna check that out, there'll be a link somewhere. But check it out. The views aren't great. So uh, it'd be great if you guys checked it out and bumped up the view count a little bit. Okay, so I'm actually seeing some Nike stuff right off the bat. Look at this, size six and a half. What are these Nike Zoom X's? That's kind of crazy. This might be, oh, it's 80 bucks. Never mind. Probably not worth it for 80 bucks, but kind of crazy to see these. I never thought I'd find these. Oh, we got more Nikes. And we got some, are these Hardens? No, these are some sort of like boost you wear thing. For how much? Let's see, 25 is not bad. I might actually check these guys out. 
These are probably not worth it for 50, but I'm definitely gonna check these guys out. All right, so first of all, I'm an idiot. These are Trey Youngs. These are not Hardens. I just got Harden on the brain. These are a size eight and a half, and for $25.99, that's actually not a bad price. I'm seeing them go for like 35 to 50. Now, they're definitely slow movies. There's only three sales on, uh, on eBay, which is not great. So I'll consider them, but probably not a pickup just because I don't know exactly what our fund has right now. We also got these vans down here with some fire on the side. That's crazy. We've actually got some NMDs over here too. This is a great Ross. This is amazing. Got some NMD R1 V2s, probably not worth the pickup, especially not for almost 70 bucks. Uh, we've also got some more Trey Youngs in this really interesting colorway. Let's see. It was 105 and now it's 36.99. That's crazy. That's a good price. All right, let's check out the big section. That's usually where the crazy stuff is because no one buys it. <laughs> we've got a, a Reebok. Got some Brooks, I think. We've got some Nikes over here though. These are kind of cool. Some, wow, these are massive. What are these, a size? They're 60 bucks, I don't know what size they are, but they're probably like a size 16, 17. Here's next to a size nine. That's pretty wild. Let's see what size they are. They're a size 14. Oh, they're only a size 14? My dad's a size 13. 13 and a half, actually, so that's basically my dad's size. I don't know how I got stuck with tiny feet when my dad has giant feet. Oh, some pokas, these are kind of clean. How much for? Size 11, 90 bucks, definitely not worth it for that. All right, so I think I'm gonna leave the Trey Youngs, but everything else, not bad. Pretty deal. We got some Yeezys. <laughs> not actual Yeezys. If anyone thinks I'm serious, they're not Yeezys. I know that. You know what? I'm going to check out the women's section really quick. I'll let you guys know if I find anything. All right, so nothing in women's. So uh, on to the next spot. I guess home first and then on to the next spot. All right, so we just pulled up to Plato's Closet for the first time in a long time. It's not the one that I've been going to that I've had a lot of success at, and that's mainly because that one isn't open right now. It's actually like an hour before it opens. Uh, so I'm going to the original one. Before we jump in there though, I do want to tell you guys about some sales that we did have over the last week. I wrote them down because uh, I'm gonna forget. So the first thing that we sold was the second Mario Kart. We grabbed that in the beginning of the week for $6.50. We sold it for $24, and after fees, we were left with $21.22 to add back into the bank. When you subtract the original purchase price from that amount that we added back into the bank, we had a profit of $14.72, which is amazing. I should grab more video games, dude. They sell like crazy. And they sold so fast, all within a week. It was nuts. Uh, the second sale that we had was the final video game, Mario Party 8. Again, we bought that for $6.50, sold it for $24, and we were left with $20.87 to add back into the, uh, the bank which means we had a profit of $14.37, which is amazing. And then the final thing that we sold was that pair of Adidas. Now, like I mentioned before, I was having some issues with eBay, but it seems like that's all been worked out now. It's all good to go. But because of that, I had to sell this pair of shoes on Whatnot, which I'll put up on the screen so you guys can check it out. This pair of Adidas ZX 2K 4Ds. So I bought this pair of Adidas ZX 2K 4Ds for $18, and I sold them for $28. And after fees, I was left with $24.88, which means we had a, uh, I hate to call it measly, but a, a measly profit of six dollars and 88 cents looking back on it i probably shouldn't have picked those up then again i mean we made money on them it just meant that i had to pack them up and ship them and it actually took like an extra 20 minutes out of my day and it's 20 minutes worth i think 20 minutes is worth six dollars and 88 cents but with all those sales it means that we are left with a new bank fund of all right so i did some quick math because i i didn't uh i didn't do it on the sheet unfortunately but it means we have a new bank fund of 108 dollars and 78 cents but um there you go we have a pretty decent sneaker collection fund and we have a pair of dunks that I think we can sell for like $150. So, so far this week has been incredibly successful. Uh, so let's go into Plato's Closet and see if we can keep the uh, trend going or if we're just not gonna find anything. All right, so it looks like even with the Black Friday sale, they've got some stuff still out. What do we have? We've got some Monarchs in pretty decent condition. Right here, actually barely worn for how much? 30 bucks, not bad. We've got these guys, which I think, am I wrong with these Spiridons? I don't know what these are. I'll be honest with you, 40 bucks. Not bad though, barely worn. Wow, this stuff is all in like really good condition. None of it's like, no way. No way. I can't believe this. How much are these guys going for? Well, there's no price. Did they write the price on the bottom? They didn't write the price on the bottom. No way. I'm gonna have to grab these. I just don't know what the price is. I'm gonna grab these, I don't care. I don't care what the price is, I'm grabbing these. That's nuts. Oh my gosh, there's two more pairs. There's legit two more pairs right here. What? Nah. -uh. There's like a bunch of Crocs and then a bunch of Salehi Crocs. Like you've got Crocs Echoes right here. These are all like brand new. Are these, these gotta be real, right? I really don't know. These are, this is exactly my size. This is men's eight. I'm gonna grab these. I'm gonna grab these. Right here. These are real, right? But like they've gotta be. Okay, I'm just gonna buy them. I don't even know how much these are all gonna be, but I'm gonna grab them. 
That's wild. Over here we got some Adidas. We got some, uh, looks like uncaged Ultra Boost. And then some other kind of Adidas that I've never seen before. All right, so depending on how much these are all gonna be, I'm assuming I'm not gonna have enough in the fund to either buy all of them for the fund, oh, I'm dropping them, or grab anything else. So I think I might just grab these to start. I have some pairs and these look good, so I'm assuming they are good. That's crazy. This one has a lot of glue on it though, oof. I don't know. Let me double check these guys. All right, so I genuinely can't figure out if these are legit or not. I'm like going through images on eBay. I can't tell. The white pair I don't think is because the colors seem a little bit off, but these ones seem okay. So I don't know what to do. Should I grab them? Should I not grab them? I have pairs. It's just I don't haven't looked at them in a minute, so <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know what to do. I guess it depends on the price. So what's bothering me is the, the printing on the heel, or I guess the, the embossing or debossing on the heel. I think it's embossing. It just doesn't seem that like deep. And then the toe looks a little weird, but I'm honestly not sure. Like everything else seems fine. Like the the actual like branding on the other parts of the shoe seems fine. And the tag, it is missing one of the tags for sure. Not all of them are. Well, actually they are missing. Shoot, they're all missing that one like main part. This one I don't think is real because the colors are off with this one. Like usually this is a lot darker and like it's really deformed. So that one I'm gonna leave. This one though, I don't know. The glue looks really bad though. That's my only concern. I don't know what to do. Should I just buy one and then test it? Damn, that doesn't look good either. I don't know. The glue looks really, really bad. I think these are, I'm gonna give them, I'm gonna say they're fake, but I'm not sure. I kinda wanna go home and check my own pair and like compare it, but these don't feel, they don't feel exactly right. And usually in cases like that where you don't know for sure, you gotta go with your gut. Ugh. I'm gonna go with my gut, I'm gonna leave them. But that's so frustrating, I really don't know. I'm gonna go home and check and see if I was right or wrong. But I mean, that glue really does look bad. Like, that's crazy. There's no way the real ones look like that. Ugh, okay, I'm gonna leave them, this is hard, this is hard. All right, that was brutal. <laughs> that was really tough, leaving three pairs of Salehi Crocs in Plato's closet, knowing that when I go back, they'll probably be gone, whether they're real or fake, because people just don't know. The white pair was the one that really had me questioning, because when I went on eBay to look at them, like, the colors of the, the translucent rubber was wrong. Um, it was a super, super soft feeling foam, like softer than I think the actual one is. Um, those were the two main things. And like I said, like the, the uh, embossed details on the heel uh, for a brand new pair shouldn't be that flat or sh shouldn't be that worn down. And then also for the green pair, those glue stains were unbelievable. The only other thing that I noticed, which I mentioned was that the tag, um, it had two out of the three tags that need to be there. And all three of the shoes either didn't have the main tag or only had two out of three. Um, there's like this one that has like the different, it's like a size chart or something on it. So they had almost everything. It was like almost where I was comfortable getting them, but I wasn't comfortable getting them. They didn't have prices on them. The thing that kind of weirded me out though, that made me think that maybe I should grab them was that there was like a hundred something pairs of Crocs in there. And I'm sure that not all of them were fake. Man, Goodwill is packed today. The entire parking lot is full from one end to the other. I'm not gonna find anything, but uh, just in case, let's check. It is completely packed. That's crazy. Actually, I saw some shoes over here. We got some, some rabbit slippers and we got some New Balances right here. That's crazy. It's not actually, I just have nothing else to say. Some Adidas, that's it. That was crazy. I've never seen it like that before. That felt like Black Friday shopping and we're still a week out from Black Friday. That was unbelievable. I mean, the line probably would have taken me 20 minutes to get through it. So I'm kind of glad I didn't find anything, but geez, man, that was wild. I've never ever seen it like that before. And there was nothing even there. Like I walked around almost the entire store and didn't find anything. Like I didn't do that deep of a dive, but still, I, what are these people buying? Like, what are they buying? There was nothing there. I don't know, it was crazy. All right, so moment of truth time. Over here, oh, that's weird. PlayStation 5 that I'm giving away on my tech channel. Oh man, all you need to do to enter for this PlayStation 5 is subscribe to my tech channel and then comment subbed up underneath the unboxing of this PlayStation 5. Oh, and an Xbox Series S that we might be giving away as well in the near future. So subscribe to the tech channel, linked in the top of the description below. But with all that out of the way, <laughs> let's see these uh, Salehis right here. The embossing definitely looks more pronounced for sure. And this heel area, I think they made it leather on the one that was in the store and I don't think it's leather. I think it's actually still plastic like a rubbery plastic. The heel, okay, it's pretty dirty. Okay, the toe looks closer than I thought, but uh, there's definitely no glue stains, and if there are, they're very minor. But I mean, the material feels super springy. Like if you push this down, it's not gonna stay like the other pair did. And then the white pair, which is a pair that I was 
certain was not real. It's right now. Oh, of course, I got my lights stand in the way. Sorry, this room's so messy. I would show you guys the entire Well, here it is. It's more, but the floor is covered in socks. I just filmed the sock promo. It's a whole big, <laughs> whole big thing. Uh, okay. I ended up showing you the room anyway. Whatever. No big deal. Here is the, uh, <laughs> the other sleigh. See how this is not clear? Like, when I first bought these, it obviously wasn't this yellow, but it was definitely way more yellow than the pair that we saw in store. And even after wearing these a bunch, the embossing is still thicker than the one in the store. And also, yeah, very springy. Very springy. So yeah, those, I mean, the gaps are bigger than I thought, to be honest with you. But those ones were definitely not real. There's no way. There's no way the ones we saw in the store were real, which makes me feel better because I didn't spend probably, I'm assuming it would have been like 60 to $80 to grab the ones in the store. But And then with that, that pretty much rounds off the entire episode for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my tech channel if you haven't yet. Once again, you could win PlayStation 5 if you'd like one or even an Xbox Series S if you don't have either one of them. You could win both. I don't know. So uh, check them out. Link to the top of the description below. And I will see you all in the next one.